What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Friday, June 17th. And today we're going to be talking about the recession that we are in right now. Why I think NFTs are actually the best bet and the best play in this crazy volatile atmosphere. So I'm going to share with you in this video my feelings, my perspective on the cryptocurrency market where play to earn and metaverse gaming are at the moment, but also why NFTs are actually one of the most strongest and most active user trades in the business going on right now in this crazy time. Now guys, before we begin, be sure to not miss a single bit of this video because again, do not miss a segment. It may help you decide if this is the right strategy for you. So guys, as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So let's get right into it, guys, because you have time and your time is valuable. So thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. So guys, I just want to share my perspective right now, okay? Because this is something that I've just been wanting to get off my chest with you guys for quite some time. I've been sharing this a lot with my Patreon members, but haven't been sharing it with my YouTube members. So right now we are underneath a uh, trillion dollars in terms of the total market cap in the cryptocurrency market. We're actually at 892. We were just not too long ago at 923 million or billion. And so right now we are expecting just these prices to keep going down. I mean, in my perspective, guys, we are in a recession. I don't know what other people or other influencers will say, but they do usually say buy the dip. But I'm not going to buy the dip on specific coins because I already have allocations to these as well. So I'm just hodling, right? And if you plan to buy more, well, make sure to invest safely. So let's just go ahead and look at just the cryptocurrency first. So the only three strong players that I look at right now in terms of the volatility happening is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. Just those three and three only. Why? Because Bitcoin obviously store of value. Ethereum, even though hit so hard, so hard the past couple weeks, I still think Ethereum has the largest user base network. It has the great network effect. It also has a lot of user base. It has a, a large total volume locked in the billions. So Ethereum as well with the deflationary EIP 1559 on top of the merge coming up. I don't think that Ethereum is going anywhere, but does it have competitors? Of course it does. But Ethereum is a great store of value once it becomes more deflationary, hopefully by the time that, you know, the years come by. We hope that this thing will follow up in the merge in August, but we don't know if that's going to happen. But if that's not a good case for you, we'll look at Solana. So Solana to me is a major, major player, a major, major layer one solution. It has games being developed, it has metaverses being developed, but also it has the largest NFT marketplace compared to most others that I believe in. Like right now, the amount of unique wallets on Solana are quite phenomenal. So let's go ahead and move on from that because we're done talking about layer ones. Now in terms of metaverse and gaming, say for instance, there are a ton out there, but there are only two that I feel are very promising out of the hundreds to thousands of different play to earn games. And if you wanna hear my thoughts, guys, play to earn games right now is gonna fall the same way that cryptocurrency is going to go. It's taken a large dip, it's been hit heavily, but I actually think that if you dollar cost average it into select few in the metaverse and gaming industry, then you actually, I think, will have stronger returns. So you got to look at particular projects that have a great network effect, great promising future. So those two I'm going to show you right now. And that first one's going to be Gala. The reason I say Gala is because it already has so many games being developed, but it's also partnered with Epic Games to release the first play to earn game on its store. Again, historical. It's absolutely historical. I will put a link on the upper right hand side to show you what that video is all about. But Gala Games being able to be the first play to earn game on a major AAA studio uh, store is quite huge. So they've set the stage. And so Gala's not going to go anywhere. And their market cap is 396 million. Now, their fully diluted market cap is the only thing I worry about, which is in two billions. So that's people who have invested, who have locked up their funds, but soon they're going to be vesting those maybe on a weekly, monthly, or maybe a quarter period. So, you know, I don't know how this is going to affect the market cap, but there will be people taking out their profits at some point. And who knows where we are a week, a month, a quarter from now. So just keep that in mind in case you dollar cost average into Gala. Second up is Decimated. Now Decimated, I've been a huge bull on. I'm a partner with Decimated but they're gonna follow the same roadmap as Gala. They are a AAA 
studio quality project gaming experience. It reminds me of Call of Duty meets open atmosphere games. I mean, guys, it's just all over the map. I mean, like it's a multiplayer, single player. It's like roaming free across these lands and you have to do your research. I have so many videos on this uh, game, but Decimated is far beyond any other play to earn game that I see out there. It's a Solana based blockchain game as well. So the fact that it's built on a great layer one solution with a great team behind it, and I am seeing a whole bunch of things being built behind the scenes, Decimate is definitely one of my top choices out there. And the market cap, guys, is around 2 million. The upside beyond this is just to the moon and up. So you can get a lot of tokens. You can get like 10,000 tokens for like $500, which is fantastic. So keep that in mind. Decimated for me is a huge key player. And another thing I wanna share with you is that even with the huge volatility that's been happening over the past few weeks, Decimated really hasn't gone down that much because there isn't much downside to it. It's already down as far as it can go. So like I've said in my previous videos, if I just like had put all my Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana into Decimated, I actually would have saved so much money, so much, uh, I would have saved myself from so much loss if I just kept it in here. And I would have been a huge, huge whale at that point. But I didn't, so that's the lesson learned. But decimated, my funds are still there. I still hold a ton of these tokens. I'm still very bullish around the project. Now, let's go ahead into the video because we're talking about NFTs. NFTs in this atmosphere have been the most profitable for me. I'm just speaking on my own behalf. I'm not speaking on everybody else's behalf, but the big plays that I've had in NFTs have actually been more beneficial than dollar cost averaging or investing in cryptocurrencies, metaverse, and uh, play to earn games. So just keep that in mind. I wanna share that with you because you need to understand how this actually works. Now I've shared so many different videos of so many different products that are uh, on my radar, but I'm just gonna share with you a few today that could help you understand what to, to do. So I'm just gonna use some uh, a few projects as an example. So say for instance, there's a project called Primates. Now Primates has a lot of FUD around it, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Why is that? Well, there's a huge AMA that happened before the Mint and they just, the community completely asked these great questions that were like, you know, what do you mean you're gonna get Amazon involved? What do you mean you're gonna get uh, the holders uh, benefited from holding one of these NFTs and how Amazon's gonna play into that. Either way, people were asking him these questions, the founder, none of them were answered. And so the price literally went down to like two Solanas, maybe even less than that. But all of a sudden, over the past three days, we just saw it grow from underneath eight Solana all the way up to 16 at the time of this recording. Now, the reason I'm using this as an example is because I bought one, I actually bought two of these. I bought one for 10 Solanas, uh, and that was with an exoskeleton. And then I also bought one for 16 Solana, which was for uh, one of these apes that had a crown on it. And I sold both of those for a great profit while this was going up in an uptrend today. So in the past 24 hours, I bought and then I sold. That was my plan. That's how I made profit. That's that's way more faster than me dollar cost averaging into cryptocurrencies. So this is a great example of that. But here's the thing. It's all about timing, right? So I we, we bought it just like literally yesterday. And so if you're seeing this, it's going on an uptrend. But how long can that go on for? The thing is, when everything is go up, they must come down. And when everything's come down, they must go up. But right now, this is going up. So it must come down at some point. We just don't know when. Now, there is a lot of buying volume, but the thing is, we don't know how long that's going to be. Now, if we go back to that chart, if you notice something, the unique holders, there's five, almost around five to 6,000 out of 10K. Now, that's a little bit of a red flag for me because that means there are a lot of people who hold more than one, up to five of these NFTs. So when you have too many people that have too many NFTs, it becomes really difficult to see this floor price go up even further. Now this will fluctuate. It could go up to maybe even 30 Solana if it really wanted to. But in the long term, this is gonna dwindle, dwindle down. We're thinking about the long-term perspective, right? The health of this market, the health of this NFT project. So I don't know where this is gonna be, but in my eyes, the profit can be taken early on rather than for the long term. So that's just my thoughts. Now, next up, I wanna talk about is Trip Nape Tribe. I mentioned so many videos about Trip Nape Tribe and the community behind it, but here's an example. Trip Nape Tribe is actually around 16.4 Solana, so would you rather buy Primates or Trip and Ape? Well, if you look at the amount of unique holders, it's much different. It's around 9,400 compared to 10,000 of its supply. That means these holders own at least just one to two, or even three, it's not that much, it's very little. 
Uh, in fact, getting into this is actually a great beneficial thing. And I expect that this floor price can actually go a lot higher, possibly to 100 Solana. Again, not financial advice. But the, look at the total volume of this project. It's around 457,000 compared to Primate's 77,000. So this was just so much growth so fast, and it's not slowing down. And you can get a really good deal on these cheap NFTs and flip them for a really good price later on down the road. But maybe you don't want to flip them. Follow what the Tripanape tribe is doing, the community. And that is that they're staking theirs. So 73% of the 10,000 supply is being staked. That's a strong community, but because the team has amazing roadmaps, amazing uh, journeys and hidden treasures, but they stay engaged with the community, they communicate with the community, and also they have in real life utility, so you can attend events that's happening this uh, in New York City uh, coming up very soon. They have a yacht party, but also merch. They also have uh, airdrops. They have so much going on, but. This just goes to show you that the fact that there's 30% of that 70% staking for the three month commitment, which is the longest period that you can earn these tokens, is phenomenal. And as you can see here, it just keeps growing from the very beginning all the way to now. It's just growing and growing. That's strong community. That's why investing in a Tripanate tribe at this time could be very beneficial for you. Now, also, Tripanate Tribe is the top collection within the past 30 days. Now, it's already beaten OK Bears because OK Bears, unfortunately, has experienced a very, very major dip. Uh, we're not going to talk about OK Bears in this video, but there was a time where you could bought this for 85 Solana, which is what I bought it at, and I sold it at 265. You see what I'm talking about? And by the way, I did that during this bear market. I sold it at 265 bought at 85 you see that works so you got to understand the projects that are behind it the momentum behind it and also the people uh the community commu uh, talking about these projects now next up i want to talk about ghost kid dao you may be wondering what is ghost kid dao this pixelated art does not look what intriguing or maybe you're like what's the benefit of this well ghost kid dao is one of the very few dao projects that's uh, ranked really highly in the whole uh, market cap. So as you can see here, Ghost Kid DAO in the past 30 days is one of the top contenders out of all these projects. Not really many DAOs are like that. And as you can see here, I'm not seeing that many DAOs in this range that actually benefit to that. So when I look at Ghost Kid DAO, I look at the community, I look at what's going behind it, but also there are people who support it, like Frank D. Gods, who owns the D. God Collections, supports this project. I'm very supportive of this as well. But also, this DAO allows their holders to have benefits. So say for instance, Duppies is coming up. And again, I've mentioned this in my previous videos before, but Duppies is the second edition that's gonna come out from the D Gods collection. Frank is the founder, so he's created this as well. But understand when you look at the overall Duppies DAO pool, which is the only way you can get whitelisted for this mint, uh, Ghost Kid DAO is in third place. And I know for a fact that they have more than 10,000, but they're holding back. You know why? Because they're going to see how the other competitors, how much they're going to put in. So the main point is that they want to be the top three. But Trip and Ape as well wants to be the top of the three as well. And they've mentioned that on their AMAs. So this is just something I want to share with you in case you're really interested in understanding where are we at right now? Why is Ghost Kid Dow a part of this? Well, if Ghost Kid Dow secures a whitelist spot and secures 83, say, for instance, for their members, well, those duppies, I can could range between 100 to 300 or more uh, Solana. That That's just going to show you that there are things happening other than dollar cost averaging and investing in cryptocurrencies, right? You gotta invest in things that actually have a lot of movement, a lot of human traffic, a lot of uh, click, uh, user click base. So that to me, I think is the best choice. So I wanna hear your thoughts down below guys about your thoughts on NFTs. And if this is something that can help you survive a bear market in case you're absolutely bored and not understanding what's going on. Because to me, this is absolutely a, a great place to learn how to make money, but you honestly could lose money as well. So make sure to follow a few things. When you invest in an NFT project, look at the floor price, make sure it's a great entry point. Number two, look at the community. Are people tweeting about it? Are the people who post about it getting a lot of followers and likes? And number three, how about the founders? Are they communicating? Are they transparent? Do they seem really cool? Do they have a great roadmap? Also, visit their Discord page. Make sure it's very active. Make sure to make sure that they have followers. Just check all these certain things before investing in these projects because you don't want to be buying at an all-time high. 
Yeah, I took a risk with OK Bears entering at 85, but the thing is, I saw that they had a great roadmap. Unfortunately, they took a dip because the utility is just not performing well. Well, guess what? You move on to the next one. For me, Trippity Tribe is definitely that. So guys, let me know down in the comments below how you plan to survive the bear market. Are NFTs going to be your thing? Or are you going to stick to just dollar cost averaging into cryptocurrencies? I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. So with that said, as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.